Hello everyone, here I am going to discuss about the amelogenesis and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and also like, comment and share. Now what is amelogenesis? It is the formation of enamel and how the formation occurs, we'll see. So first we have to see the life cycle of ameloblast because the ameloblast is going to form the enamel and it will be discussed in detail along with the stages of amelogenesis. Now the stages are morphogenetic stage, histodifferentiation stage, initial secretory stage, secretory stage, maturative stage where ameloblasts are ruffle ended and smooth ended and finally protective stage. The formation of ameloblast starts from the bird stage through cap stage up to bell stage. So the process of amelogenesis will see the stages. Amelogenesis is divided into three stages. First stage is pre-secretory stage that is further divided into the morphogenetic phase and histodifferentiation phase. The second stage is secretory stage that is further divided into initial secretory phase, secretory phase and final secretory phase. The third stage is maturation stage that is further divided into the transitional phase and the maturation proper. Now coming to the morphogenetic phase of the pre-secretory stage here the inner enamel epithelium they are arranged in a layer and they assume the crown shape they become the cuboidal or short columnar cells the part facing the stratum intermedium is proximal portion and the part towards the basement membrane is the distal portion nucleus is centrally placed Mitochondria and other organelles are scattered throughout the cell and the proximal part contains a proximal junctional complex. Now in histodifferentiation phase, here the inner enamel epithelial cells are differentiated into ameloblast. They are tall columnar cells and also here a second distal junctional complex is developed that will divide the cell into body and a distal extremity that will develop into Tom's process. Here the nucleus goes to the proximal end and this process is called as the reversal of polarity. The mitochondria clusters surrounds the infranuclear zone that is below the nucleus and Golgi complexes are increased in volume and they sift distally. Now coming to the secretory stage here in initial secretory phase the ameloblasts are at their peak of secretory activity. Here the rough endoplasmic reticulum are present above the nucleus and they are available for the translation of mRNA of the enamel proteins. Now the proteins are processed and packed into the membrane bound vesicles through Golgi complex in the distal extremity of the cell that is called as Tomb's process. And it is not fully developed so the enamel matrix is laid here that will be structureless and it is called as rodless enamel. In secretory phase, the ameloblast, they move back and develop distal portion of the tomes process as an outgrowth of the proximal portion. The proximal portion of the tomes process will form the interrod enamel and the distal portion will form the rod enamel. And how this happens, let's discuss this in detail. First, the proximal portion will lay down the enamel matrix. This will result in the formation of the preformed cavities of the tomes process. 
Now the tomb process will lay the enamel matrix for the rod. So the enamel secreted here at this phase will have both the rod and interrod enamel. Now in final secretory stage, as soon as the ameloblast reaches its maximum thickness, they become shorter and also there is loss of the distal portion of the tomes process. So the ameloblast has the same appearance as the initial phase. So the enamel matrix let down here in this phase will have no rods or interrods. So at last the enamel will be composed of the rod and interrod layer which will be sandwiched between the thin rodless initial and final layer. Now coming to the maturation stage this stage is 2 to 3 times longer than the secretory stage. In transitional phase, here ameloblasts undergo reduction in height and volume and 25% of the ameloblasts, they die, that means they undergo apoptosis. Now coming to the maturation proper. Here enameloid or organic material and water is replaced by inorganic material by the process called modulation. In this phase the ameloblast presents as ruffle ended and smooth ended ameloblasts. Cells spend 80% of its time to be in ruffle ended ameloblast. Ruffle ended ameloblast have proximal leaky junctions and distal tight junctions whereas smooth ended ameloblasts have tight proximal junctions and distal leaky junctions that is completely opposite to ruffle ended. Here ameloblast undergo cyclic alteration between ruffle ended and smooth ended ameloblast facing the enamel matrix. The ruffle ended ameloblast have lie mitochondria lysosomes they secrete proteases like metalloproteases serine proteases some are diffused in the leaky proximal junctions of smooth ended ameloblast and some are engulfed by the ruffle ended ameloblast by the process called endocytosis Now what happens, these enzymes degrade the enamel matrix proteins from intercrystal space and causes acidic environment. Also they promote the calcium ion entry into the enamel matrix by secreting the bicarbonate ions and causes the acidic environment to become alkaline and that's how the mineralization starts. Partial mineralization that is 25 to 30 percent occurs in form of octacalcium phosphate that gives two units of hydroxyapatite. Now the hydroxyapatite crystals they enlarge and become hexagonal. Now the ameloblast retreats towards the surface at an angle and since the matrix is partially calcified its retreating movement causes the prism formation. Thus, the maturation is gradual completion of mineralization from incisal to cervix and dentino enamel junction to the surface. On complete formation and calcification of enamel, the ameloblast arranged in well-defined layer and along with the stratum intermedium, stellate reticulum and outer enamel epithelium, they form reduced enamel epithelium. The reduced enamel epithelium protects the enamel surface during the tooth eruption 
by separating it from the oral connective tissues. Now the reduced enamel epithelium proliferates and induces atrophy of connective tissue by separating it from the oral epithelium. The reduced enamel epithelium liberates enzymes that destroy the connective tissue fibers which is called as desmolysis. Now when the tooth erupts, the reduced enamel epithelium is lost. So there is no ameloblast, so no enamel formation. So this was the process of formation of enamel and please press the bell icon for the latest video updates.